Steve, I just want to get your immediate reaction to this and really the larger debate. Are we now in a recession, my friend? Um, I'm not going to say we're in a recession in part because of I wouldn't count it from the first quarter. I might begin counting it in the second quarter if you want to do the two quarters of negative growth thing, which is uh, this common definition that's out there. Um, I have a problem uh, given how strong the job market was or and maybe still is. Um, you had a kind of interesting wash here that I want to talk to you about in just a second. I want to get these numbers correct in front of me here. But what you had is you had inventories took off almost 2%, which people thought it was going to add back. Remember what Rick just said? He would have been negative for the inventory number. The inventory number yesterday caused a lot of folks to um, raise their forecast for today. Uh, so unclear to me if that inventory number was or how it was brought into GDP. Meanwhile, trade reversed itself. Trade had taken off 3% in the first quarter. Uh, it brought back 1.43. And here's the, uh, the, the, the balance number, which Rick was talking about. A lot of people talking about a lot of not. The, um, the number which uh, the White House has uh, uh, clinged to or, and, and, and emphasized, which is this uh, final sales to domestic purchasers, which was up 3% in the first quarter, zero right here. So right on the edge of that, the, uh, the idea of what happened in the domestic economy was a zero. There's no doubt to me, uh, 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 Andrew, that the uh, economy has slowed from the first quarter. You had a pretty good first quarter number. Now the second quarter definitely shows some slowing. I wouldn't call it a recession here. I'm going to wait for the NBER and other people uh, who look at the three components of that. Is it prolonged? Is it pronounced? Right. Is it pervasive? Not seeing those three things, uh, at least over the course of a single quarter here in the second quarter. Okay. Mohammed, try to put together what we're just seeing now in immediate terms with what we heard from Jay Powell yesterday and what you think he now may or may not do as we look forward to the fall. Thank you, Andrew. So in terms of what we're seeing in the data, whether it is the GDP number, whether it is the jobless claims number, this is an economy that's weakening at a much faster rate than most people expected. That's the bottom line. Whether we're in a recession or not is not as interesting as the fact that we are weakening really fast. Um, in terms of what does it mean? Well, there were two FOMC um, messages yesterday. There was a scripted message, which was that inflation is much too high, that, yes, the economy is weakening, but don't worry about it because the labor market is incredibly tight and we're going to continue tightening. And then there was that unscripted but consequential comment that we are at neutral. So depending on which FOMC message you look at, you get very different um, conclusions with today's data. I think the bottom line, Andrew, is we're not out of the stagflationary forces yet. Yes, inflation is going to come down at a headline level, but it's not going to come down fast enough given how fast the economy is weakening, and that's going to put the Fed in the same dilemma it's been in for the last few months. Dana, what do you think? Well, I think that, you know, certainly when we look at the details, it's, it's really mixed. Inventories continue to be a drag. They will continue to be a drag going forward. Um, but you did see residential investment come off really strongly, and that's because of the Fed's interest rate hikes and also very elevated prices. When you look at consumer spending, I think some of that is the the uh, shift from mainly buying goods to services. Services uh, GDP was up more than 4% annualized. Meanwhile, goods was down. It was, it was negative. Um, so I think that's part of that shift. But still in all, um, we do think that the economy is slowing very aggressively. We have priced in a recession. Uh, could We originally put it in for the fourth quarter of this year. Maybe it's starting sooner. And that's a function of the Fed raising interest rates, slowing down demand, and also because people are pulling back because inflation is just so high.